Rock Kim, Dave Preston, WTOP Radio. Michigan, even though it's a small sample size, their defense leads the league in stopping the pass yardage-wise and in passing efficiency. What have you seen on tape? What makes them so sharp on that side of the ball? It's going to be the biggest challenge for you guys this Saturday. Uh, they play together as a team. Uh, they play fast. It's no wonder why they're number three in the country as a team. Uh, you have to have good players over there, start with that. Uh, uh, they just play fast. They bring a challenge with their uh, their speed. But I think I think I like our guys. What we do, what we have to do. Yeah. Eric, Kim, obviously the running game has been really special so far for for Maryland. Um, how has that kind of helped you guys as a rece as receivers and in the passing game? You know, open it up for for the air game. Uh, so during film, most of the weeks we see like teams running man a lot and, and emptying the box. But it's, and it's time for us to play teams. It's kind of more zone and dropping a lot more people to cover us. So that opens up the run game, in my opinion. So I think that's what the recent success has been. Emily. Hey, Arkham. Um, Loxley said he shows you guys film of all the penalties and then also some of the things that were written about the topic. I mean, what is the feeling in the room when when you see that, when he's showing you that? Uh, I mean, it's we know it's not who we are as a team. Uh, we know we don't go out there and say we're going to have 15 penalties going into a game. So I think it's just a matter of each player locking in and doing their job and not making any mistakes before the play starts, uh, including myself. And it's just a matter of your mindset and how locked in you are to every play. Ryan. Uh, Rock, uh, Locks mentioned how he wants you guys to treat every opponent the same. Uh, but what will it mean for this program to be competitive or equal for a win against those top teams in the Big Ten Conference? What would it mean? Yeah, what would it mean for the program? I mean, it, it mean a lot. Like, like we beat Penn State two years ago, and that doesn't it doesn't really mean anything now because you have to do it in, year in and year out. So I mean, it would mean a lot, but it's just another game. Not to downplay Michigan, but it's, it's another game. It's a conference game. Heather. Kind of on a sort of related note, but what's the like, the balance between getting excited because you, you gotta get excited to play a top five team, but knowing that you do want to keep that preparation the same? What's the balance of kind of getting up for it, but also staying level? Uh, <coughs> speaking personally, I'm not. I don't want to sound like uh, like something I'm not, but since I've been recruited by all these teams, it's like they're not really. They don't really excite me as much as it would excite like somebody that didn't have a chance to go to Michigan. So it's like they're just another team. They recruit players just like me, and I'm a player like they recruited. So uh, it, it, it's just another game. It's not really much getting up for. And of course, they're a big team, but I think I think we're just as good. Have you noticed that with your team, like just that they have been able to? Think you know, what, when you have had big games in the past that they've stayed consistent, like what kind of vibe do you sense in those practices during the game? Uh, Coach Locks, he does a good job in making sure we prepare the same each week. So it's not really, it's no one's getting more prepared for this game than we were for Buffalo. So I think it's, it's been the same. In the back. Uh, Kim, I got a question about your New Jersey number, obviously number one, for Aaron Storm, Stephon Diggs, DJ Moore. Uh, what expectations do you have for yourself going into conference play uh, to get your Name out there with those Maryland grades? Uh, just improve in uh, every statistical category in the last year. That's probably the biggest thing for me. Of course, win helping the team wise, but just improvement for myself. Doing you know what I need to do in terms of helping the team. With Viner Foregates, you've heard the phrase, we make your company work. What that means to us is that we take care of every ticket, every call, all the time. If you're tired of waiting on hold for tech support, or it takes too long for your tech support company to get back to you in an email, try Viner Foregates, for making your company work is our primary mission. Eric, so you guys have, it was only three games into the season, you obviously mentioned nobody wants to go get 15 penalties, but your team has faced adversity, you come out on the other side with the W. How important are those first two games for you guys as competitive? Uh, I mean, it shows a lot of growth. I don't think when I got here, we would win that SMU game uh, that we won. So, I mean, it shows a lot of growth in the team. It's just the talent we have. I think if we don't have those penalties, we win by a lot more, and it's, a, it's not a good game. So, uh, I just think it's the growth in the team and the mindset that we play with. And how have you guys grown together as a team in the locker room, your chemistry? Coach Loxley said that he really likes the way you guys are together. Uh, just 
guys being together for like four, two, three years, that, that helps a lot. Off seasons, we're all in the same place. So I think uh, I think that's the biggest thing. Uh, just being together for the past three years, I, mean, I would say. The core people on the team. Yeah. Okay, I'm um, You mentioned that defense is against you guys during the first season. I'm wondering, is that what you saw when you looked at a game film on the Sunday? Uh, yeah, we see a lot of man on the film, more so on third down, see we run a lot of man, but against us, I don't think I've seen over more than three or four snaps of man. They were playing a lot of cover six, uh, dropping the nickel to the deep half, so I don't, it's a lot of weird coverage this team play against us, but we're, we're learning on the fly, and seeing what works as the game goes on, that's probably why it looks how it looks, but I think, I think we have the right guy quarterback, he, he knows how to manage it, and uh, Coach Locks, he actually talked, brought me and Dante aside because he told us to stop talking to SMU. He wasn't really telling us to <laughs> like do anything football wise. We were just chirping a little bit too much. So he said if we keep talking, then he was going to take us out. So. Did you stop? I did stop. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to mess with Coach. Amy, you were just talking about you and Dante, along with Jacob Copeland. Dante Schrader is just in here and said you are a top three receiving core in the country. What is it like playing with them every day, and how do you feel like you've gotten better being here in Maryland with such great talent? Uh, because we all have so different skill sets, uh, just watching what they do and trying to implement into my game, you know, like things that I do. They're more of a Dante's more of a down the field guy. Uh, Jacob is the strong over the middle, can do it all, and I'm more so the quick, quick underneath guy. So I think all of us we all have different skill sets which we can take from each other and just implement in our own game. And, Coach Jay Sean, he has the, the hips and the moves, of course. Yeah, uh, the touchdown last week seemed like a perfect play, a perfect pass, a perfect pattern, everything. Can you describe it as, and uh, it really was something? Uh, yeah, that's a it's a play we uh, we run a lot, uh, but we noticed that they were playing the outs. I ran a lot of outs, I guess, in Buffalo, and he was calling. He was like, yeah, number one's running the out. So the nickel would drop to that half, and the corner would trap. So I went across the field, and they didn't really have anyone accounted for me. We had a post on the back side, which is the post safety took. So I was just running clear across the middle of the field, and I was unaccounted for, and I just had to turn the corner into the end zone. How perfect was that pass from Tua? It was great. Great job by the old line and the running back protecting him on the play, Roman Henry especially. Last one, Ryan. All right, Rock, I was wondering, we've seen you make tackles as a gunner on punt uh, on blocking, but how much do you value being a contribute outside of your pass catching ability? Uh, a lot. We, we see scouts at practice all the time. Coach Gunner, he said the first thing they ask him is if I play special teams. So uh, bringing that value to myself, me trying to make this my last year, it means a lot. Uh, just showing scouts and coaches and at the next level that I can do it all, uh, that means a lot for my draft value and my draft stock. Thanks, Rob.